We'll take that one. Guys, welcome back down to a brand new video and in today we're going to be looking at my new simulator and my new launch monitor. Let's get stuck into the video. Before we get into this video guys, do remember if you want me to become your free golf coach, free golf lessons, free information about golf tech, hit the subscribe button down there. Let's get stuck into the video. So a lot of you have been asking me the question of what is my new launch monitor and how am I finding the launch monitor? So and today we're going to answer some of those questions for you. I've changed to a Foresight GC3. You may have seen my old one in previous videos, which was the Foresight GC2 and I had the add-on for the HMT, but I've moved up to the GC3 now. So firstly, what is it? Why GC3? Well, it stands for Game Changer 3. The 3 is for the three camera system that it uses to capture all the data as we go through. There are other models in the Foresight lineup being the GC Quad that you probably will have seen on pictures from tour ranges on the PGA Tour, on the uh, DP and the LPGA Tour, a lot of the pros have that monitor by the side of them. The Quad is just the step up and that has a four camera system as we go up in the models. So what does the GC3 measure? Well, it's giving me my ball data and it's giving me some club data. I don't get as much club data as I would do with the quad, but there is a significant price difference in those two things and I'll come to that later on. But what I get, I'm able to get my ball speed, I'm able to get my carry numbers, I'm able to get my spin numbers, the deviation of where the ball starts relative to my target. So in terms of things I'm able to do for the channel and producing videos, when I'm testing golf clubs out, it's fantastic to be able to see how far the ball's going, how much much spinner on certain irons and certain drivers and things like that. Then in terms of a club data, I get some of the data that I would want from that as well. By applying a simple little dot onto the clubs here, you're able to get four points of data, those being the club path, so where the club's traveling, which is fantastic if we're doing coaching videos, we're able to see if we were talking a slice, whether you're too out to win, whether you need to be more in to out, or just having a look at someone's path in general. We also get the angle of attack, so when we're looking at things like increasing driver distance, we did a video on that recently, using the GC3 showing how if you change your angle of attack, you can gain more yardage. Other points as well it gives me is the club head speed and also gives me that smash factor. The smash factor being the efficiency of my strike. You do lose where the centerness of strike is and where the club is relative to target and where the club is relative to the path, which just like I say, would come with something like your GC quad. But overall, for me, it gives me all that data that I need for when I'm doing my reviews, when we're taking it out onto the golf course, when we're going to practice at the driving range, I'm able to simply just pick it up, plonk it down, and I've got the relevant data that I would want. So when you're down at the driving range, good thing about GC3 is that you're getting closed data. So what that means is that shot that I've just hit there, we see it's gone 181 yards, ball speed of 129 miles per hour. When you look at a top tracer, it's actually taken into account the flight of the golf ball. So there are good and bad advantages to each. Here with my closed data, I can get the number that I'm actually hitting the ball each time. So don't take into account the wind, the rain, upslope and things like that. I can say my seven iron goes 181 yards. Because we actually are downwind here a little bit today on the driving range. Flat carry 183, this is 173. The number's a little bit different on the top tracer. The ball speed's exactly the same because they're measuring everything to a high standard, but it's taken into account the actual flight of the golf ball. So like I say, pros and cons to each, but it's great that if I come to the driving range and I looked at that, I thought, oh, well, I'm actually hitting it further than I am because I forget that it is downwind. So if I go out onto the golf course, I then might start to fall short of my targets because I'm thinking of that number, which was the conditions that day as where well. if I've got my baseline numbers with some closed data, I can then factor in conditions, wind, upslope, and so on and so forth. So that's the beauty of having closed data when you come down to the uh, driving range when you are practicing things like that. Oh, it's a beautiful little cut. It's a beautiful little cut. 
One of the other things that I've done with it as well is I've got the Foresight software so I'm able to play on any golf course that I download and then I've also got my range here so for when I'm back here and testing if you've probably noticed on the channel now I was trying to do more and more tech stuff we're able to put the uh, clubs through the paces by getting all the data seeing it out on the driving range here on the sim and be able to just gather as much information as we want then if we need to go off anywhere one of the big things that I have noticed is the portability the ease of use before with my GC2 and my HMT it was a little bit cumbersome a little bit clunky I had to unscrew parts put a plate on to put the HMT unit in and then put that into a briefcase it looked like a bit of a Bond villain and then I would move off and go where I would and then have to reassemble it as well with the GC3 really easy just to pick it up put it wherever you're going whack it out and then you have a simple alignment cane which allows you to align your cane to your target line the uh, the GC3 up and through the camera system it recognizes the pole and gets you aimed dead where you are and then you're easy to go from there and just start hitting golf balls so one of the good things I think definitely is taking it from here in the simulator room to then going out on the golf course and thinking well how far do I hit it in the sim versus how far do I actually hit it out in real life when I'm actually out on the golf course do I notice a difference do I swing quicker when I'm in the sim because there's no repercussions in here and do I go a little bit slower out on the golf course because maybe I'm protecting my swing I don't want to miss into the trees or whatever so it's handy to get that closed data out from in here in the sim back out onto the course and measure between the two and actually find out if there is a difference between real life and in the sim when we're playing. Like I alluded to before, there is a price difference for losing a couple points of data. And depending on how valuable you see those are, might actually change on when I tell you this price difference in a minute because yes you can lose them but you can monitor your strike with a little bit of spray you can almost see where the golf ball's starting where the club face would be aiming by where that ball actually flies relative to a target and that price difference is about £13,000 it's coming in at so the quad fully loaded comes in round about £20,000 as where the GC3 is coming in somewhere around £7,000 as details below um, on the Foresight website of what it actually is. But I think for people now who are becoming more aware of the launch monitor world, we're seeing more and more man caves popping up, people actually taking them down to the driving range. There has been quite a few people on my uh, comments who have messaged saying, oh, I've just got one, I'm finding it great. I've just got one, never had one before. I think for a sort of personal launch monitor, as this has been classed as, it's, it's the top end of that bracket but it's a fantastic one because it's giving you reliable data, it's giving you the same software that you would get from the premium one in the quad, and it's not breaking the bank balance of a quad. Overall, that is my new GC3. I'm super happy with it. I'm gonna do some more videos, maybe looking at certain data points and how you would measure them and how you would use those, because I think one of the traps that people fall into, we're in the age of information, there's a lot of stuff out there. We see a lot of Trackman data. We see a lot of quad data. We see them on driving ranges all the time. And people are quick to talk about the numbers, but sometimes don't know what they mean. So I think moving forward, I might do a few videos on talking about what the numbers actually are and what they mean and how they can help you improve. But overall, a fantastic piece of kit. I'm really, really enjoying just having the ability just to pick it up and throw it down somewhere when we're out on the golf course and just bundle it around and take it with me and starting to actually try and get as much data as possible and load the videos with more and more information because it's just so easy to do now. So that is my new launch monitor. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you do want any more info, there is a link down there to go and check it out on the Foresight website. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.